firstly, I would like to say that I am not the hero of this situation. The police officers I was with that night, the medical staff, my surgeons at Geisinger CMC, and the nurses and therapists at Monster Rehab outside of Philadelphia are the true heroes of this situation. <laughs> that night I was just an ordinary man who was placed in an extraordinary circumstance in which I faced evil and won due to the grace of God. My family and I are beyond proud of Northeastern Pennsylvania and how its people respond to this census tragedy. We thank you for the prayers which have worked, as well as the donations which, which will be needed greatly in the future. If I can choose one thing to come from this, it would be that I, I would be the last victim of senseless violence. If you are a parent, you need to, talk, you need to be talking to your children. If information arises concerning a juvenile or irresponsible person being in possession of a firearm, it must be reported. T together we can all work, work and end youth gang violence. Let's all work together to steer our children to be looking up to positive role models. Thank you for this time and allowing me to speak. God bless you all and my family loves you. We spoke about it for uh, about a minute and a half, a very emotional address there, and uh, Peggy Martin uh, thanking everyone else for helping him through his recovery, his wife by his side. It seemed difficult at times for him to get through his words, and that's uh, understandable. But, I mean, just extraordinary to see him stand there and make those remarks. He um, described himself as an ordinary man who was placed in extraordinary circumstances the morning that he was shot, calling the heroes, um, the Street nurses and the staff who Detective helped Kyle them. Martin, we thank you all for coming, and that con concludes our event today. Thank you. And you can see a short ceremony there, but very powerful, very thought-provoking. He says the prayers have worked. He thanked the community for the donations. He said they will be needed, of course, as he um, continues his rehabilitation through this process. Um, he says he hopes that he becomes the last victim of senseless violence. We know police have described what happened um, to Detective Gil Martin as being um, most likely gang related and there have been some concerns about um, gangs in the city of Scranton. He encouraged parents to talk to their children. He says let's all work together to steer our children toward positive role models. And of course you see now getting some hugs there. Just a very powerful, meaningful moment to see Detective Kyle Gilmartin speaking before the officers there at Scranton Police Headquarters, getting a hug now from Scranton's Mayor Paige Pagnetti, and uh, greeting some other officials there. Yeah, there's so, so many people there, I imagine it would be, be very difficult for him to, to greet everyone, but uh, grabbed a couple of uh, hands and, and, and uh, heading back inside. Also interesting to know that he is in his uniform. I wonder if this is the first time he's put on his uniform um, since being in rehab there. Good to see. And of course, we have live team coverage um, on this that will continue um, throughout our newscast this afternoon, as well as online at WNEP.com. We have our Melissa Steininger, Jack Culkin, um, as well as Courtney Harrison. Thanks for joining us, and we will have uh, much more coverage as the day goes on, beginning with Newswatch 16 at 4. This has been a special report from Newswatch 16.